Hands, it's April Holly Smith, and I'm coming to you with my week three of no spend timber shopping list. It's always a big push or pull to see if I can make it the month on my budget. So as you can see, my list is really, really short, and the reason for that is um, I just don't need a bunch of stuff. So you can see, I really only have a total of $14.68, and I'm going to tell you that this item right here, these noodles, I may not get because I have not completely decided that I need them. Um, I do, I have bought two two bags and the first bag that I um, have, I used a half a bag and then I used a half a bag today, which means instead of using a whole bag each week, I'm only using a half a bag, which means I probably got, well, I could be able to get two meals out of the one bag that I have. So I don't know that I need three bags, so I think I might not get these at all um, this iceberg will come from save a lot because well it's got the best deal bread I do think I might need to get four because we're just eating a lot of sandwiches and this peanut butter I thought my peanut butter would last me this was like an add-on peanut butter but I may have to get two so I might skip this one and get two of these because we're just eating a lot of peanut butter that might be where all the bread is going because the girls have been enjoying a lot of peanut butter sandwich snacks so um week three needs and i'm gonna hold this up i look i got toddlers so um that's just reality of my life so um my week two needs you can see this is substantially reduced i'm in a single column um, last time it was a total of $114.56. This time it's going to be $40.57 if I bought every single thing that I need that will be all I would spend, which is a big deal for me. Now that does not include an extra peanut butter that I was just mentioning or an extra bread that I was mentioning, uh, but those I feel like are negligible at this point. So let's talk about changes um, now changes are things like I bought this out of my budget or it went on sale and I saved money or sometimes mushrooms go up in price which was a bit sad for me so um, stroganoff I got my beef stock this past shopping week so that's four dollars off uh, my total mushrooms uh, they're actually $1.29 instead of a dollar, but these were on sale for 89 cents. So a uh, $1.30 comes off, but I actually saved 40 cents overall. So my new total started off at $10.80. I'm at $7.50, so that came down $3.30. Even though I only spent $2.90, it brought my total down because I saved this actual amount. Carnitas, I have decided that I am just going to need to buy those tortillas because they are getting eaten up. Um, they're not stretching as far as I would, so I added, so my total went up $1.80, which was, you know, $3.80 plus $1.80, yeah. So that change went up, total of $1.80 more. Bad. Um, the chicken tikka masala, I have decided I do not need that rice. I still have essentially a brand new bag, five pound bag of rice, so that changed. That went down $4.40, which is <laughs> yay. Now, lunch, um, I am going to add one peanut butter, which is the peanut butter that's on my shopping list. Um, it is not the second peanut butter that I just decided to talk about. Um, I did buy all three Nutty Buddies, so that came off my total. I bought three loaves of bread, which is my normal. That comes off. Um, also, I have four lunch meats on my list here, but I found something in my freezer. Hip hip hooray. I found this. Look, I got this is a meat markdown. This is the variety pack. It's got four different types of uh, turkey uh, lunch meat, and I'm going to thaw one of these, and Chris is going to be eating this um, for at least one week. So I did take off, I went down to two weeks of lunch meat instead of four, so I took the third week off. So that brought that down to $13 um, only. Or, so that's a subtraction of $13 because I, I spent $6.50 at my groceries this week. And next week I will not be buying um, 
lunch meat due to my frozen one, so that leaves only two lunch meat weeks, which is how I got this $13. Um, I did buy one peanut butter, which was on this list, so I did subtract the $2.69. So it went from $42 to $23.47. It came down $20, even though I didn't spend, or, you know, because of spending, adding an addition, it's a little stressful anyway um my others coffee was on sale at sam's so three pounds of coffee was six dollars and 96 cents and um there is some maybe i don't need another one but when that coffee goes on instant savings i just need to get it because i will drink it and i'd rather drink it at a lower price so coffee is completely done um I had $10 budgeted for coffee and uh, I saved $3.03 .03 over what I had budgeted because I only paid $6.96. Hi, hi. I got the butter for the family, which was $2.99 each, and that was what it was. I did end up getting all eight dozen of the eggs, um, and I had $1 each budgeted for that, but I only paid $89, so I saved $0.80 cents on that. So my new total went from $38 to $14. Woohoo! So a total change of $24 and I actually saved between the coffee and the eggs $3.83 that um, I didn't need to spend for my total to come down. So yay. I have no uh, need for MCT oil. I will be totally fine for the rest of the month. Somebody actually gifted me some and uh, that was just the thing the the, the it tipped the the balance <laughs> so i will totally have enough mct oil so i chucked this 15 dollars off so that means that sorry i need to go back a page so my new total for everything i need in order to buy to finish no spend timber is forty dollars and fifty seven cents which is kind of great because this is my week three i still have week four and five which means i'll have it I have the ability to buy everything. Now, you're going to notice that in my packet from last week, you're just fine. I'll be there in a minute. I have things I'm waiting to buy. Coffee, which I ended up buying. Rice, I'm not going to need. And Kerrygold, I'm going to need for, I think, the last one What's week. What's this for? That is for cleaning. Uh, so I'm holding off to buy that then. Lunch meat has to be bought each week. Iceberg is the first third and fifth week of the um, lunch uh, lunch meat of the meal plan so actually I don't need to buy another iceberg head of lettuce because I have one that I bought before the didn't use so I'm going to skip that um, for a week I'm going to go and get a 79 cent one because it's such a good price this is not for anybody this is what they're trying to get out of the sink um, and I'm just going to keep it. If I need to bump tacos up a week or carnitas up, I will just because it's such a good deal. And it's just easier to swap things around. And then, of course, mushrooms need to be done every week because I am going fresh with that. So, the items that I'm still needing to buy, I still will need to buy at least one lunch meat. One iceberg, possibly. And then bread every week. So, but I am waiting to buy the bread and the mushrooms each week. So lunch meat I won't buy this week because I'm using okay so those are the needs those are the changes all right so once again every single thing that I want to get even adding high is $14.68 so let's add some maybes and let's say some peanut butter $2.69 I'm going to say no noodles, and we're going to add bread. That's 83 cents. So those are the changes that I've made. Um, now, one thing that I'm looking forward, I may, because I'm just going to be upfront with you, I'm eating it, and it's really good. If you watch my shopping haul, um, I'm making this fantastic keto smoothie with my coconut milk and I'm just kind of using it a little faster than I anticipated so possibly I will have to go to Walmart and pick up a couple cans of that just to um, feed my snack habit but 
those are only a dollar 48 a can so those are not even really expensive and i'm using those because they have no emulsifier in it which is the only place i found that has cans of coconut milk that are full fat that have no emulsifier in it so who knew walmart would be the best because that's not usually the case so that is my shopping list i have under fifteen dollars at this point so check with me on monday to see if this is how it plays out <laughs> of course i totally appreciate you uh tuning in to see my shopping list to see what i need how much that is how it works out and the changes from last week so click like if you enjoy this if you want to see um me continue my shopping list and my how i get to those computations <laughs> um, and um, the path that I'm going on with no spend timber click like tell me how your no spend timber is going down um, in the comments and subscribe so that you can stay hooked into what I'm doing and we can stay on track together thanks for watching I'll see you guys later bye